Communication is the key. I think communication is the key. We need to start communicating. Let's just start communicating more. Let's have more. What's up, Team Jackson? How y'all doing? Okay, before we start, make sure you subscribe, like, share, and comment, and click on that post notification bell so that you'll be notified every time we post a new video. So today, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of encouragement. So when I was thinking about what I was going to talk about today, I decided to talk about, hmm, let's talk about discernment. And I'm pretty sure you guys know what that means, but discernment pretty much is that thing inside you that says, hmm, something ain't right. And that's really all it is. And of course, it's the Holy Spirit, the leading of the Holy Spirit. And so... I was just thinking about that thing and I was just like, wow, that is one of the most powerful things we have. But I think we don't utilize it sometimes. And I think part of the reasons why we don't utilize it is because sometimes when you have that discernment going on in you, a lot of times you're the only one that feels that way. You're the only one that feels that something's not right. And think about this. Have you ever been in a situation where you may be with a group of people, let's say y'all all meet someone coming getting and have an encounter with an individual and out of the group everybody embraces that individual and they'll tell you that hey, look this is a nice person this is a good person but you're the only one out of the group that feels like wait a minute i don't know about this person that's discernment y'all and then so what happens is a lot of times when you are the only one that feels that way you will turn that thing off in a minute and when what the what you say the evidence comes out that you were right you're like oh yeah i knew that i knew it but the thing is you turned it off and you just let it go because you felt that thing that thing was burning inside you and so i just want to just tell you guys today look do not turn that thing off when that thing comes inside you and says look something's not right there's a little cray cray going on there's um a whole bunch of stuff that don't make no sense going on just just wait and see. It'll manifest itself. So don't turn the thing off. But I do want to share a story with you guys. Oh my goodness. This is an example of the discernment that I use. And I believe at the time I didn't realize that that, that was what it was when it happened. But it was discernment. Okay. So this happened years ago. I was moving into the dorms and I was on the third floor and so I there were no elevators so I had to use the stairs go all the way from the bottom floor and get whatever was in my car and I had to move it up to the third floor so I was making trips I made multiple trips that day with all my stuff and there was this guy he actually lived right next door to me and he was like hey um you're new here um I was like yes he was like, um, I'll help you carry your stuff. And I was like, that, that, that discernment, y'all, that thing kicked inside me was like, mm, no, don't do it, don't do it. I said, no, I got it, I got it. And what's interesting about it, y'all, I was struggling. I had all that stuff. I was struggling. And then, But every time I saw this dude, I had to kind of act like I wasn't struggling. You know, I had to act like I had it going on when, in fact, I wasn't doing well. Because one of the things that I had to carry up the stairs was the big back TV, y'all. That was during the time, you know, now everything's pretty much flat. That TV I had had the huge back in the back. And you know, those TVs were heavy, but I carried that TV like I had all the strength in the world because I was not going to let this guy help me at all. So after I went back and forth, I mean, it could have been 10 times. I don't remember how many times I went up those stairs carrying all my stuff. But after I went back and forth, I went in my room and I was like, wait, wait a minute. I could have gotten help. Maybe I'm being over the top. And that's that thing we do sometimes, y'all. When that discernment kicks in, we'll go back and we'll say, you know, maybe I'm crazy. I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should have let him help me. And the reason why I felt that way, because I started feeling that pain in my arm and my legs. <laughs> and so something in me at that moment was like trying to um, pretty much turn off that thing that Holy Spirit, pretty much that discernment in me that was telling me, do not let this guy help you. 
Okay, so that particular night, I had to work a, um, I believe it was a night shift. So when I moved all my stuff in, it was started in the morning, and I think I finished around the afternoon. So I just went, you know, to bed because I had to go to work that night. Lo and behold, it was about 5 or 6 p.m. I heard this loud, like, knock on the door. It's like, boom, 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 boom. Let me in your room. And I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. That, of course, it scared me for one thing because I was asleep. Another thing, I didn't know anybody like that for them to be coming to my room. I was like, who is that? So in my mind, I, I, I just kind of gathered myself. I said, okay, this has to be the wrong room. Like maybe this person meant to knock on someone else's door, but they just happened to come to mind. So I said, okay, gather it together. Okay, open this door now. Open the door. I was like, wait a minute. So in the door, there was a peephole. So I went and looked at the peephole. I said, wait a minute, that's old boy, my next door neighbor that wanted me, wanted to help me with my stuff. And I said, wait a minute. Okay, now another part of the discernment was do not open the door. So I did not open the door. I left him out there hollering and screaming or whatever. And I just prayed. I said, let this dude just go away. So he eventually went away. Next thing you know, he's playing loud music in his room. And I think he did that because he was hoping that I would come to his room to knock on the door and say, hey, um, can you turn your music down? But I, again, Holy Spirit, discernment said, you know what? Um, do not, don't, don't let him play his music. Just ignore him. Just, just do that. So from that time forth, I don't think, I, I don't, I don't think I ever, um, saw him after that. I don't think I saw him after that. And so I always made a point to kind of avoid him. I try my best not to walk past his room. I just didn't want him to even know whether I was in my room, not in my room, because that crazy knock that day was very disturbing. Okay. Lord. So let's say about a month or two passed. Guess what, y'all? Guess what I found out about old boy? He was pretty much on crack, y'all. Kids, <laughs> drugs is all around you. How will I know when drugs is around? You might be asking. On crack. That's what I found out. He was on crack. And I'm telling you guys this, and I'm not saying this to downplay or to talk junk about him being on crack, but, but you know, like a lot of the behaviors of people on crack, they, they, they might kill you, might, they might steal from you. You know those different things that happen with some people that are on crack. So, but I'm, I'm actually making that determination by his, you know, his crazy behavior, him knocking on my door and acting crazy. So to me, he pretty much had violent tendencies, so, so of course, with the crack, that didn't help either. And so, I just thank God. Discernment, y'all, discernment. And I'm telling you, discernment is not necessarily a popular thing. You might be the only one, but I'm telling you, that thing will save your life. That Holy Spirit will save your life. It will keep you out of chaos. And, and I'm telling y'all, and I know you guys know what I'm talking about. I know you guys have been in situations where you didn't feel, you felt a little uneasy about a particular person or situation. And you were like, nah, I'm not with that. And then everybody else is with it. I'm telling you, God does not work as far as according to the world, as far as what's popular. He works according to what's right, what's just, what's pure, what's perfect. That's how he works. So if God is telling you, hey, some ain't right. Hey, um, you may not want to go this way. Hey, you might want to go this way. Just listen. Just, just take heed to it. Don't question it. It's a powerful, 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 powerful thing, y'all. Don't turn it off. That's all I'm saying. Don't turn it off. All right, you guys. I just wanted to share that with you guys. So make sure, you, again, subscribe, like, share, and comment, and click on that post notification bell so that you'll be notified every time we post a video. We thank y'all. We love y'all. God bless May nothing but the abundance of blessings of the Lord fall upon you and your family. And Team Jackson, peace and love. I'm starting to really believe that communication is the key. I think communication is the key. We need to start communicating.